Bonner boy, who um, Shadi Ladipo has been coming after since he lost his first Grammy, saying that thank God he didn't win, we wouldn't have rested, um, he's arrogant, is this, is that. You know, she said a lot, and then she came back to defend that, saying that the reason why she said this. So I don't know her personal beef with Bonner boy, but now this time around, she said, um, I want Bonner boy to win the Grammy so we can rest. Oh, yeah, oh, guy, you are the best. Frustrate us, right? You're Nigerian, she wrote. <laughs> she continued, please, recording academy, let Bonner boy win so we can breathe in Nigeria and it can have something to look forward to. Mm. Underline that he can have something to look forward to. Bonner Boy's Twice as Tall album has been nominated, as you already know, in case you don't know, yeah, Twice as Tall has been nominated for the Grammys um, for the second time in a row and um, under the best global music album. So, big shout out to Bonner Boy. And um, what's your take on Shadi Ladipo's take? I think, I, th I don't know if Shadi Ladipo <laughs> has any personal vendetta against Bonner Boy than than the one that most Nigerians have against him. Which Do is, we? Do you have any? Most Nigerians find his words a bit too unnecessary. Offensive. Just unnecessary even. Like, you don't have to. Mm. That's just me. Because I went from loving him really hard. I remember even the first, first drama. I can't remember the the story around it. was the one before Ricardo Banks. Mm. He said something, and I really AKA. tried... It, I think it was maybe, a, yes. Yeah. I tried, hey, see me forming theor theories, dragging ideologies, trying to reach to explain why a whole burner boy who has so much potential, so much like vibe and music talent to be even hmm. mixing himself in. So I was trying to explain his intention and why he didn't really do it like that. And maybe he's not that petty. Of course not. I don't, I don't know. And then he did another one. And then he did another no, one. And then, then he did another, another one. one. And then he took his Twitter. So I'm just like, oh, that's just, that's just who you are. So it's not one of those people where I now had to go get to a point where I now had to separate the artist mm -hmm. from the person. Like David Doe now, David Doe did the opposite. I didn't like his music that much, but his person drew me in. I loved who David Doe was and what he stood for. And then I started liking his music. With Bernard Boy, did the opposite. Like I loved his music. I didn't know much about him, so, so I didn't really mind. His personality and then I, so, true, you are. Yeah. So now I have to separate because I still love his music. No cap. Until he does something that is extremely offensive, then I will maybe cancel him, whatever. But for for right now, I've separated Bernard Boy. He's not somebody I stand, but his music I would stream it. I would push it, and I'm proud of the stuff that he makes. So I don't think I, I don't know. Maybe now I'm tripping, but I don't think that Shadi is coming for me. More personal place mm. than the ones that we haven't seen. Mm. But in terms of this conversation, to be honest with you, I agree. Maybe I wouldn't have thought about it and have been that petty to even tweet it out. But I, I think I'm getting to a point where I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's give Let's you that. Yeah. Because you keep arguing that if you don't, does not deserve it. He's just a rich boy with hype. And this person does not deserve it. It's just international recognition. And this person does not deserve it. Awards don't mean anything. Too. Story. Um, like, this person does not story. mean it. Uh, award does not mean anything. Oh, yeah, you know what? Carry the award. So be the African break. giant. So that when anybody says anything, just tell them your father. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Throw the award in their face. Frustrate us. We are your Nigeria. Mm. I agree. I don't know if you saw that video of Barack Obama and um Brown oh, and, yes. and, the, and the other lady. The, that she's yeah. like, that was just so surreal. So like, can we have that. a uh, president like that? If uh, what would you have done if it was your president that just came on? My president would not come on. No, what would you have done though? He would just be like. Ah. I said I'm not interested. What's this or something? I don't think it would have been one say, "Who's this?" It would have been something bad. Is this this young lady? I'm sorry, I'm not interested in all of that rubbish. Turn this thing off. Turn this thing off. But if it was nice, if it was, I think somebody I think about that we have like that is Dangote. Mm. Dangote is the kind of person that has so much power mm. and he's really down to earth i remember going for it like a, it was a long time ago high, um, high school there's like this organizational thing he was like a barack obama he was giving me that vibe he was shaking hands vibe. talking to did people did you see when himself and um oprah were in the same way yeah, different yeah, places yeah, yeah. and they came in the same yeah. they were like hey you and then they were, just, we're playing <laughs> footies and, and it was actually such yeah. a vibe i, I, th really I think it's also it. because of he like if you read becoming me by his wife maybe do, reading from his wife's perspective it really humanized him mm, not everyone true. is lucky enough it's, it's not a bad thing sometimes not everyone is lucky enough to be that um grassroots not mm. everybody has the opportunity to be grassroots right. and that's, that's not because they don't want to but sometimes you are just so disconnected depending on the family that you were born into that you don't know how people live like the normal average person um barack obama took a lot of effort 
with work, like his history and his CV, you can see that he was with the people. Right. Like he was working in churches and like I'm talking grass with grass with grass. So I okay, guess that's, that's what makes okay, him more, okay, okay. more relatable. Okay. That's my president. I guess you don't know. Our president. Our Jimmy. president. Mm. So. If Barack should run for president of Nigeria, we we'll would. Yeah, I. Hmm. <laughs> I'll sit there. <laughs>